Welcome happy campers, it's me Amanda here with Cookville RV Marine and today is a brand new start of a brand new line of videos and that is Class C Drivables from Thor Four Winds line. So we're so excited to get this new brand on our lot and to our channel. So if you are a Thor fan and you have had one of these in the past, stay along for our video. We would love to hear your input on what you think about this 2023 Thor Four Winds 31 EV. But before we get started, don't forget, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification icon so you get notified every time a brand new video is uploaded. But let's start off at the driver's seat. Let's take a look at the driver view. Now you're gonna be in here for the long haul, so it should have plenty of space for both your legs, your head, and your elbows. We have a really nice steering wheel for all these hands-free controls, as well as a touchscreen radio that has that backup camera that you will need. Um, we also have plenty of cup holders and places for our things during those long trips. And as you can see, once we get to the inside, you'll say it's just like home away from home. But let's take a look at the outside now. Now to the outdoor entertainment space where you'll be hanging out with your family. This uh, 31 EV comes with a really nice size awning that covers your exterior entrance as well as has an LED light strip underneath. We also have some really large windows that look right into our kitchen area. So if you're preparing, you can still keep an eye on what's going on outside. We also have lots of storage options, both in the smaller containers at the bottom, which we'll show you in a second. But we have this one over here next to our fuel tank. That's a massive storage option that does lock. So if you're wanting an outdoor kitchen, maybe you can customize your own. This is a perfect place for it. And you even have those propane connections on this side of the camper as well. Now near the front, you have this storage, which is fully washable. It's got a light in here too. So if you've got anything you need to carry, just a little bit extra space. But on the driver's side of the camper, you have another place for some of those cords that you may need. Hence, there is a light. It's also next to your power cord. That is a 30 amp. And we also have our tanks here in the storage next to it. All of your levers are not far away. Also on the driver's side are two more really large storage compartments. And again, next to that driver door, we have our generator access, but the controls are inside. Let's go. When stepping into the camper, you do have not only one grab handle on the outside, but one right on the inside. They're both very sturdy. We also have a lovely door with a frosted glass. So you can see if there's someone out there, but it would just be their shape. We also have a screen door that's attached that is not automatically closing, but the door automatically stays open at this 90 degree angle. We also have controls that are very important when we step in. That's our battery disconnect, some of our lights, outdoor lights and all, our awning switches, solar power, as well as a built-in broom closet that have coat hangers in them. I love that. Also up here is our generator access. You can turn that on and we also have all of our tanks and some of those sensors or indicators as far as how full those tanks are. But let's start this whole thing off in the front. Typical Class C style, we've got the bunk that goes over our driver's seats here. As you can tell, it does have an option to sort of give us a little headspace if we're wanting to move into the cabin or back into the driver's seat. All you have to do to move that back to make it a really large bed is fold over this piece and it's really sturdy up here. You also have a window of your own with a really nice blind already added to it. And I've seen other people's models or other models of this camper that have the swing away mount TV, but our TV is located in a different spot. So let's move next to the dinette. Our dinette is a really nice one. This also transforms into a sleeping space if you needed it. But I love the look of the table. We've got our cup holders mounted in. So if we happen to be on the road, it's no big deal. You also have four seat belts underneath these cushions. As you can tell, some of them are out. Um, so this is a safe place for some of your passengers to safely come in. One thing to know is I am currently sitting on the slide of this camper. It has one slide and it is the entire wall that encompasses this dinette all the way to the bunks that we'll get to in a second. But just wanted to give you a little bit of a look. And we talked about the TV of how it's a little bit different. We have ours mounted here next to our dinette area. It really makes for a cool atmosphere if you're wanting to hang out with your friends and family. So you've got windows, we've got cup holders, and we even have a wireless charging pad right on the table and it works. I don't even have this thing running. How cool. 
across from our dinette and equally as close to the driver's seat is our sofa option. I love the leather, it's really soft. It's also a really comfortable place to take a nap. And this is another bed option if you wanted to pull it out flat. We also have two seat belts here so two people can sit and you do get two cup holders in the back. So if they've got beverages, they don't have to worry either. Up top, we've got extra places for some linens or if you have those guests, they maybe can keep some of their stuff up there. And you've got speakers all around because I'm sure that this thing has an awesome sound system. Again, if you've owned one of these before, let us know what your favorite part of this camper is. And if you like this floor plan, I'd be interested to know your point of view. But now onto the kitchen. Check this out. In our kitchen space, we have lots of countertop space or we can reveal the sink if we need it. It's a large squared off sink, but definitely big enough for dishes. We even have a nice charging pad or port here in the back next to our large window. The window coverings in this camper are high quality. I really appreciate that, especially this one. It really seals off the light if you're wanting to take a nap during the day or you can check out what's going on outside. We also have our three burner top Furion stove with the built-in splash guards. You don't have to worry about anything. Got the hood up top and even a high point microwave. Again, brands change on appliances, so double check the one that you're purchasing before and just make sure it's got the things that you need. We also have lots of storage here. Check out these little drawers that are perfectly made to pull out. I like that they add the little, little features in there and plenty of space for an extra trash can or maybe some cleaning supplies. And our fridge is located right behind our chef so they can easily get to their fresh supplies and or maybe a few of the extra supplies that they keep in these drawers or shelves. Shelves. We have our double entrance bathroom. This is the only bathroom, but it is pretty big. A side mounted shower gives you a little bit of extra room and it still has that skylight mounted in it. We also have a decent sized sink. It's pretty deep so we can still wash our hands and our face. And the mirrored front medicine cabinet has plenty of storage. We also have a toilet side mounted here underneath a little bit more storage up top. And it looks like they even added some extra hanging spaces here. But step next door with me to the bunks. This area would be the perfect area for your kids or even if you've got some friends hanging along and they need somewhere to sleep. Well, we've got two options, the top bunk and then the bottom bunk. They're basically the same. You get plugs, you get a mesh container for all of your little gadgets you need to store, as well as Thor's tablet holder. That's really cool if you've got kids who wanna watch a movie, if they're trying to make it down the road, you can definitely watch a movie on those tablet holders. You also get a nice big window if you wanna open that up and you also have a light and a privacy curtain. So it's just like a kid's dream. But I wanna note that the adults do have a small door. It's a sliding door to sort of separate their space. So let's take a look at that. We have a queen size bed in this bedroom, but at the foot, we have all of the storage you could ever need, as well as a nice little vanity area with its own window, two lights. We do have outlets both down here as well as up here. So if we're looking to charge laptops, or even work from home. Maybe this could be your electronic station. We also have nice big drawers down here for anything that you may need, as well as a wardrobe with plenty of space. And I love that it's mirrored front and four more drawers down below. But the bed is situated where you can see both the driver's side of the camper, the other side of the camper, and the rear of the camper through these windows that are surrounding this entire room. So it gives it a little bit more of a feeling of openness, especially when you have all the blinds open. Up top, we've got extra storage, plenty of space for any of the extra linens you may need for your guests, or maybe just some extra things to keep close by. We also have two side tables with storage under them, on top of them, plenty big for CPAP machines if you need it, or maybe some of those electronics. I also really adore this little set they give you with the camper, a little bit of glitter, a little bit of shimmer, and I like the warm tones that go with the tan colors all around this camper. But what do you think of this Class C camper? Do you have any questions? Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget, you can always give us a call or visit us online at cookmillrv.com where your adventure awaits.